Welcome to a very exciting special race here with the ZOD family. We've got all the participants on screen and I'm going to go over them again for all you guys in the races. But in today's video is a very special one indeed. We've got a very fun alliance here from State of Survival migrated over to Call of Dragons and in 7132 they host very fun events for their alliance and we're gonna look after one of them right now which is a special race event. So let's take a look at their cool event they've hosted on server 132. And welcome to the participants viewing. Yes, we're gonna showcase everyone who is involved in today's event as well as two actual special people Queen who hit me up and basically we've been able to work alongside each other to make this happen as well as Catzilla who on YouTube you can check his little link that's going to pop up below now but you can check him out you can watch the full live stream of this event and you can watch it as an actual show which is a really cool atmospheric event for you guys. But we've got today all the participants below. You can see Bald Arena, Mus Musav, I want to say Swag. We've even got Evil um, Raw Daddy, I want to say. Um, even Chaco, which is one name you guys are going to have to look out for. Grey Wolf Khan, Peaky, Sendovan, Louis the Third, and Baldwin, which makes up all of the contestants. And you're going to see all of the races. So let's go into the very first race of today. So we've got the very first race here, and it's a heavyweight division. Yes, the T5 big boys are out, and we're going to watch Louis the Third and even the big boy War Daddy fight out who is the fastest carb. And really special thanks to Queen here, who's going to do the shoutcasting for you guys. So enjoy Queen's shoutcasting and announcement work for this video. All right, so Louis is taking the lead, and then we have War Daddy. Para, why are you running back? Go, go, go. Dude! Empty force. Louis is ahead so Let's far. Go, Para. They're not. They're not T5s, but I'll do it. Here we go. It's fine. Just go. I'm going. For, uh, mm -hmm. it's for a T5 player, it's not as a T5 as a cavalry. Okay. Okay, Louis is really flying yes. through this race. It looks like he has done this like a million times. <laughs> I think his fingers are even trained for this, you know, like, and War Daddy is just right there. He is running. He Honestly, is not giving he, up. He is good at fingering, you know. <laughs> I'm not the one who said that. Finally, <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> See, man, I'm advertising for you. <laughs> Okay, so Louis is passing through the checkpoint one. Shit. Nice. Louis has passed the checkpoint one, and we have War Daddy just at the back. And Para is coming in. He's still not giving up, so that's great. Let's just go <laughs> and see how all this turns out. You know, there is oh something my. surprising. Louis, like, I, I'm surprised I swear. Uh, why nobody is taking advantage of the speed boost from the build buildings. I mean, he, he can go into resource node or building and just get the extra 10 seconds boost okay he activated the artifacts now he's way much faster okay and war daddy is coming he is still coming but they're going through the other route oh wow oh he is flying oh this boy is mm-hmm do you think he all can right catch so up? we are you looking war at daddy can catch up or that's it for him I mean, it is a little bit far, but you know, I don't think War Daddy has activated yeah. any so boost right now yet. So let's see how that goes. The checkpoint two. <laughs> he is actually way faster than fifteen seconds. He already reached. Fuck. Excuse oh me. wow, this Three man! Three more checkpoints to go. Mm -hmm. Holy crap! Oh, he took a little pause. He took a little pause. Yeah. It's like his fingers needed to re yeah. rework it. Yeah. He uses some fingers. All right, Daddy, are you using T2? Don't, don't talk to people during the race. Yep. All right. And then Beastly, move, move, move. All right. Louis is still going at it. War Daddy is coming. Where is War Daddy? Oh, he went the other way. Where did he go? 
<laughs> oh, there he is. is. Oh, yeah. I he is coming. Miss my bet on you, Let's man. go, War Daddy. Come on. KD, UD, please don't block people. Thank you. All right. Can somebody mark Louis because we am um, still R3. I can't mark him. Can you mark him? Yep. One sec. Damn, he is faster than my fingers. Yes. I am lost. <laughs> Where is this boy? Show, show. All right. Oh, oh, he just passed this. Oh, there he is. Dude, I can't even press him. He's like that fast. What the? Yeah, he's a sliver. All right. He is in Crescent Moon right now. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, he's passing. He's passing. Let's go, Para. Let's oh. Para. Somebody show me Para. I need to mark him. He we are checkpoint three. All right, Louis Two has passed checkpoint go. three. He is now passing. Mhm. Mm yeah, and like and coming in. War Daddy is still not there. He's not giving up. He is coming. He is. Oh, he's going at it hard. Oh my God, man. It's quite cute. He's using Verlin or something. No. Just two more to go. He is almost. Just two ready. more. Soon, checkpoint four. My God, they want to ambush him. This so is bad. pretty tense. Yeah. How close is uh, War Daddy compared to him? He is coming. He is past. He is past checkpoint three. Uh, and uh, I think Louis can just uh, like pretend as if he's a turtle. Like you remember the turtle and the rabbit race? Was it the rabbit or? He stops for a couple of well, minutes. Well, in my until, mine is the turtle and the cow, so I don't know. The cow. Why would a cow join with a turtle? What Wait. does this even mean? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a it's hair. The turtle it's a hair. and the rabbit. Oh, oh. Okay, Louis is going oh my God. into I that note just wait. because okay, he so wants he to take that ten percent. Finally, decided to use the resource thing. Oh my God! Don't tell me. Just... Yeah, because his his fingers are getting much better. Oh. He, so okay. Yep, and Daddy is just passing five, checkpoint four right there. now. Jesus, I got my ass. My ass is being handed to me. Oh, it's cool. At least you're not giving up. Come on, get into the notes. Uh huh. Louis is getting into that note real deep, real deep, and he is walking past that skeleton. Oh, I'm sorry, you're dead. Good night. All right, Louis is still going. And War Daddy has just. It's almost right there, checkpoint five. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go away, Darkling. Uh huh. Where is this man? Okay. Looks oh. like we okay. have a winner here. Okay. Congratulations, Louis. Looks like we have a winner. Go through the hole, <laughs> Louis. That hole. Nice. Okay. Who's gonna make it? Good job. Second and third spot. Hope you enjoyed that first race with Louis taking first place. And yes, very easy victory on him. But War Daddy isn't over and done with yet. There is gonna be another race let down in the video, which is a relay with everyone participating. So stick around for the final race where we get to see them compete again. But we're gonna go over to Queen. Queen is gonna go and speak to some of the players and have a player interview with them. And hopefully you guys enjoy a little bit of prep before we go into the next race. Let us talk to some of the participants and some of the live people who are listening to this live. Let's make let them make their prediction to see who's going to win. Okay, let us talk to the man with the heart of gold first, right? So he's not Louis the first, the second, but he's actually Louis the third. Louis, are you here? I'm here. Hello, everybody. Hey, Louis. The intro. What's going on? Nothing much. Just sorting out the admins, and I'm uh, looking at you guys been, uh, you know, practicing at the start line <laughs> and stuff. 
Okay, I might change my mind. I so Louis. <laughs> okay. So okay. Louis, tell us yes. what do you what like how did you prepare for this event? Or you're like, you know what, screw it, I'm Louis, I'm just gonna win this. What do you tell us? Well, I wasn't planning on doing it. And then we needed a few more people. So I jumped in and I was just gonna wing it. But then like 24 hours ago, I got a little nervous <laughs> winging it. So I kind of studied hard and running the track and testing talents and I got a lot of some help from some of my, some of my uh, MD, uh, MD team. Shout Great. out to Rena for, for a lot of help. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, wait, That's Rena told it. you her secrets. Oh my God. Nice. No, not, not really, so- not really, not really, not really secrets. Just, you know, help me out a little bit with, uh, with some talents and, you know, things like that. Nice. And so saying that, let's go to Raina. Raina, are you here? Tell us. So how's your whole, you know, like, how do you feel? You're the only female racer in this, uh, so far in this event today. So how do you feel? How does it feel like to carry that torch, you know, as the the one woman (laughs) um, racer presenting us? Presenting all women here. Yeah. Uh, I think that's, that's pretty typical for me, but um, I will say, like, I know a lot of these guys are professional racers. Like, I know um, uh, Grey Wolf and Chacho do races a lot. And so, like, coming into this, I was like, oh, I need to take this seriously if I'm even going to have a chance. And, um, yeah, I've been I've been working hard. Um, I I made some decisions to to make myself faster that I'm gonna have to 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 pay to fix later. But you know, uh, all 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 in the name of winning. Nice. So all in the name of winning. So so for the past few days, you've been studying these routes, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And 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 been doing your strategies for this. Like, how do you feel now? Rate your level of confidence, like ten. Nine, you know, uh, like I would say, I would say I'm probably at a nine. I'm probably at a nine right now. Um, if only because I decided not to switch my fashion, um, and I know a couple of other people did, and so um, maybe they, if they did the exact same thing I did, but they switched their fashion, then they'll have a little bit of an edge on me. So I'm just looking to see places where I might be able to to shave off a couple of seconds by you know hitting the corners hard and. We'll see what happens. Nice. So, oh, hitting the corners hard. hard. I see. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Raina, for for that uh, insight on 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 your on your um, you know talent and strategy. Um, let's ask a few others, shall we? Uh, let's see, Katzilla. Yes. What do you think about the roots? You know. What do you think about the whole route? Uh, for me, it looks a little bit confusing, but I am someone who actually like um, like these types of phrase. I actually next time we are going to make it more confusing because it, it it feels uh, it doesn't feel so much hard to be honest. I wanted to put some struggles in the middle, but then it's gonna be more complicated. Like I wanted to add some ambushes on the middle, like we ambush them, we. <laughs> slow them oh, down. Wow. That's but intense. That might be for the next time. <laughs> it's not now. Actually that was in my plan, but we do not have enough time to prepare. Uh, and uh, I was afraid it might be since we did not discuss it in the rules. But uh, you, you should expect worse than this one. This is like kids play for now. We are going to prepare much worse and harder for you next time. So I hope you enjoyed those interviews with Queen and some of the participants there in the early stages of the event. So let's go into race two. Race two is going to be a very fun one. It's going to be the T4 players in the midway division of all the different types of troops that you could be running in these different events. So let's pass it on to Queen and let her do her thing. So if you're ready, ladies and gentlemen, we are are ready to start round two of the T4 Cavalry race inaugural for Zot Family 2023. Participants, start your engines. Three, two, one, go. 
<gasps> Ellie, stop. Oh, girl, oh, somebody oh is... Ooh, they are That's using nice Tailwind. <laughs> oh, this is sexy. I yes, love this race. It's, very sexy. it's exciting. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. oh look at Reyna. She is just doing yes, her thing with her heels. Uh-huh. She is flying. And then we have Rocky score. We have RB. We have Chacho in fourth place. We have Grey Wolf. He is catching up. He is like, I ain't gonna get let this girl win. Yeah. Oh, she is walking. RB is just an inch close. The troll is looking at him and smiling. Why do I even <laughs> say that? Don't know. Okay. <laughs> Gotta fill the gaps. Gotta fill Bear the gaps. Bear is trying to block the way, but nope. Arena says, not today, Bear. Not today, Satan. She is, oh, RB is taking another route. Let's mm. see whether this will be fruitful for him. Yes, he for has him, to him. pass through the checkpoint. Remember that, guys. Very yeah. important. And Chacho is just at the... Ooh, RB is close and he is just flying. Oh, now it's head to head between Reyna and RB. They are passing through Look how close it is. one. Ooh. Ooh, oh, Reyna's bold Reyna. Reyna. She's like, not today. Baldrina, oh my god, Baldrina, she's trying on the inside lane, even going around the cities, she's going to go cleanly through this next city, and just like that, oh my god, Baldrina doing a very nice clean overtake there on Zod, but Zod isn't done yet, you can see him right on her tail, so it's going to be a very close race, this indeed at the start already, Zod now taking back over the position, using my tailwind, Baldrina trying to reclaim that position, can she actually do this? It's going to be so insane. The battle for position one. This is right now that we are witnessing. So let's pass it back over to Queen. Doing some amazing commentary work alongside myself. In Reyna's face, but it's not working. Yeah. And it's Chacho insane. And in third. Chacho's like, no, nope, not today. Mm -hmm. Chacho so gaining one position. Rocky Scott coming in, Grey Wolf coming in. This is a pretty close run. This is very, not like we're taking very, a trip to through downtown. <laughs> through downtown. Go, go. All right. They are approaching checkpoint two. They are approaching right now. Oh, Reyna looks like she's having trouble with that forest. Ooh, area. a little cut in. The cut in. Zod. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Chacho. I just right saw him. That bird is blocking him, but Reyna's like, nope, go away, Toyoma, don't block the way, go away, all right. So now it's really close between RB and Reyna, and Chacho is just at the back, but he is trying, guys. Ooh, it's close. Okay, they are going to hit the second checkpoint pretty soon. Get out the way! Get out the way! <laughs> Imagine. All right, just a quick reminder to all participants, you need to go through the checkpoints, okay? So just letting you know, go through the checkpoints. If not, you'll be disqualified, so. Yeah, follow the rules, guys. Follow the rules. There's, there's rules there just to make everything fair, right? And the cool thing is, you got to remember, I know there's different alliances in this, which is really cool. And obviously, the markers are people, but that is part of the strategy. I'm just saying, if you are certain checkpoints are going to have maybe your union or allied compared to just white neutrals. So if you try and take a really tight turn, sometimes you might get caught out. So it's a very intuitive intuition you know aspect of racing that a lot of people might not actually consider as a, a skill so we're going to see how this ends up we've got zod here in first place Baldrina in second place and chacho slowly coming up we can see him coming in frame around goes bold arena there on the checkpoint now they're going up this is now the final stretch zod using the tile there and as you can see that boost oh my god that boost zod actually allowing himself to get the hasty departure trigger now off the talents. And that's what we were talking about. This is what we're talking about. Love to see these racing mechanics here now from her. And you can see Bordorina getting chased on, honestly, by Chacho coming and creeping up. Zod still in the lead going towards the next checkpoint. And let's pass it back over to Queen, which is doing a fine job with, again, with all that commentation. Trying to go through the threes. With all the ducklings just hopping around. It looks Mighty like the calves are just a little bit tired, guys. If you think the calves are a little bit tired, are they giving up? 
No. Fat Lizard is standing in between. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Old Arena. Through that note. Here we go. We are going to checkpoint four. Oh, this is really a pretty close race. Yeah. Oh, Reyna is catching up. Come on, Reyna. Come on, Reyna. Slow RB down. Oh, no, RB is like, not today. He's like, no, nope, I'm going to pull out my pants and run. Oh, no. Oh, go, go, go. oh no. Chacho. Yes. Yes. Oh, right. it's free wide. He got a little stuck there. Oh, my God. It's free wide. Look at it. Because of that, literally not even foresighted it. The way they got stuck there has now created a free wide going into the next checkpoint. Chacho needed that coming from fourth position. Now actually leading the race. He's gaining ground on the actual Zod there. RB Zod at the second place and Bowl Arena very close in at third position. This is absolutely nuts. We've got Zod trying to use Ace of Departure to catch up, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Chacho honestly has the racing line. He has the line, guys. He's moving forward. Bold Arena just catching up. Here comes Checkpoint 5 coming to the end. Chacho ahead, and let's pass it over to the Queen and back to Catzilla. That's doing a fine job at the commentary. But you can see the battle of second and third. Looks like that is going to be the new battle. Bold Arena using the artifact while Chacho is happily in first place. Well, RB, come on, Reyna. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Reyna. Now I'm just speaking as if it's WWE. Sorry, sorry. We are doing a race. We are not doing like fights. <laughs> Mighty Chacho Tailwind. Running for his life. Wow. Here we go. Then I ran for my axe. Chacho. Nah, he took the advantage. Ooh, Chacho, looking in the rear view, sees the battle second and third, looks at his front view. Gets there at the finish line. Let's go. Ooh, it was close. Okay, our second winner is RB, and our third winner is Blood Raider. That's really unexpected. Oh, that was really a nice fight. Yeah, that was honestly such a good race there from these guys in Zod. This is only the second race. We've got one more race to go. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the content so far. It's a little bit different. I know I could honestly, I wish one day we can edit this to be honestly something mega. And hopefully I'm going to reach there. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this type of content where people are racing with T5, T4s in really cool, just fun events to keep you guys from not being bored. And I'm just saying, look, if these guys can do this, anyone can do this right so it's a nice little suggestion maybe if you're a bit bored why don't you create some fun events that you and your alliance members can all participate in so let's actually pass it over i'm going to pass it over back to queen she's going to do a very fine interview with catzilla on the end of that race <laughs> that wraps up our round two t4 race with chaco taking that advantage at the just at that turn and he got first we have rb coming in second reyna fourth rocky scott fifth and then we have gray wolf and Piki. thank you very much now we're gonna go a little bit into um um a break um while me and katzilla is gonna discuss that, that intense race while the rest of the people set up for round three, we're going to start round three at 18.50 UTC because we need some time to set up and the people need to be at their positions. All right, guys, so stay tuned. While the rest are setting up, let's just have a little bit of a talk, Cat. Uh, what do you think about that T4 I was race not just now? Oh, you have my, a lot of things to say. Oh, my God, go, go. I was like. I was about to jump into the game just to push her. I couldn't. I was like, no, no fucking way. But they were stuck. And that reminded me of the stepbrother thing. I don't want to mention it, but everyone knows about it. But uh, again, I think... No, this I is, don't actually. This, 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 is a bug, uh, <laughs> this is a bug in the game. You know, this location which you get stuck on, you should actually fix it. It's kind of unfair, to be honest. <laughs> But again, it was a very interesting yeah. outcome. I did not expect it. It was very interesting, I right? I mean, the, the I mean, master will win. But uh, I would have. No, but it was just that, that. Next time. It was that moment that turned you. everything, right? Yeah. It was a checkpoint for that actually changed everything. And, and yeah. somehow Chaco, like, yes. took that. But do, you, know, do you know, took know that what? opportunity do you to. Know what? Since these checkpoints are making things interesting, 
we are going to put more of them on the next match so more people get stuck so more people could ask for step well, brothers I think... help who is step brothers help are you the step brother is that what you're saying oh my god I always like <laughs> is that what you're saying step brothers <laughs> you know and that was it, Catzell's interview. It was very exhilarating and I hope you've enjoyed it so far with us guys all put, coming together for this collaboration. Like I said, without ZOD helping me try and figure out how we're going to align this up and working together to improve this race experience and maybe on the channel we might make this a, a feature where we can just keep watching future races and make it a really fun event for people even in the live streams in the future right but what we're gonna do is pass it over to queen this is race free the relay race my favorite race of all of the olympic races so let's pass it over to queen okay ladies and gentlemen this is going to be our relay round the final round round three if everybody's ready let me just repeat it again the instructions very quickly all participants need to run into the plateau like you need to run up before your teammates can run down okay um and once i say three two one go after go then you can go all right this is our final race for today get ready participants start your engines three two one go Ooh, fast nice. response all right i see Ooh, i see louis don't use the road please yeah that's the one thing in this one race there was a specific rule with the roads and it is a little bit of an issue but i know in the future they might change it so they are going to make maybe a circuit where there's certain road areas which you can go on which would be really cool but Louis being a true champ, honestly, even though he went on the road, you can see him move away and separate himself. So he's very far away. And now Louis is doing his thing. And let's pass it back over to Queen because honestly, Queen is a fantastic commentator here. And we can see Louis doing, honestly, some absolute speed demon work and wizardry here. No, Louis like really cut that real really, deep really heart. Mm -hmm. He cut, mm -hmm. he cut water he real close. But, Here yep. we go. Difference in pathing again, topping that straight on. It's but interesting. You know Maybe at the first checkpoint. He's faster result, today. He's what, faster. What he's faster today. He has yeah, he has removed his fat mm -hmm. fat rhino and he's walking with Berlin. I think I think that's the trick, right? Walk with a skinny man. I think that's how <laughs> you're gonna go far. <laughs> I love the analogy. I love it. Okay. I can see a little bit of distance coming up. Yep. Louis is still Damn going. Dad, I can sense Daddy being like, oh no, I can't do this again, but it's fine. He's, he's still going. And that's it. You gotta remember, if you've been watching it all the way through so far, race one, War Daddy did lose to King Louis. So there's a little bit of a vengeance here, a little bit of a story where he must try and, you know, reclaim that pride for him but it's really a race and just remember that he just needs to put in his work and maybe his partner and his future partner can put in the work and secure the victory for the team so let's see how it's going to progress because king louis is ahead by quite a, a, a margin here and obviously he's going to be closing in very shortly into the pit where he's going to be able to obviously pass the button on to his teammates let's pass it back over to queen okay louis is going through that thick bunch of bushes this bush is near the trim you guys <laughs> but okay he doesn't care bush or not he is making his way through and get ready, Louis teammate. Once Louis is in, then you can go out. Down the ramp you go. There we go. Louis down. Nice. And Grey Wolf is off from the checkpoint one. Well, Daddy, Daddy is oh coming God. around the round. He is. He is coming around the rounds. I think maybe his teammate wow. can actually make it up for that. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, well, that is going into the hole. Second teammate. Boom. And go. Oh, it's Chacho. Oh, Chacho has been Chacho, released. Our current champion. Hmm? Do you think he would make it? Chaco. I don't know, but he's using his artifact. He is trying right now. Oh, he is trying to get to Grey Wolf. He's like, no, I need to win. I need to be the reigning champion. And let's see. 
Para is just getting into the hole. Careful, careful, Picky. Careful, careful. All right, and Picky is off. Picky is taking his nice little. Okay, here we go. He's got some catching up. He has a different objective for this race. It's cool, you know. We support diversity. <laughs> what am I even talking? <laughs> It's funny because the Peaky is on the third foot, he's on the back foot and as you notice there and the only joking aside on that is because of the units he's brought, it seems like those are rhinos that he's brought isn't aren't honestly that fast of a unit compared to obviously the main cavalry. So we can see here actually the main Grey Wolf still ahead right, leading King Louis' team they're still ahead but Chacho He's in second place and he has to try and catch up and we know how fast Chacho is from that last race. You guys have been paying attention to his baffing and his artifact usage. So maybe he can do a Max Verstappen and you know and just send it again down the inside lane. Let's see in the future. So we're going to pass it back over to Queen and let her carry on with the analysis. The road he's going through the deep mountain valley. Ooh, that valley is deep y'all. <laughs> okay and... Where is Chacho's cut? He might actually. Oh my god! Chacho's there. Oh my god! Yeah, man. Wolf just slide past my Maddie yes, with a yes. fat ass. Uh, oh. Grey Wolf. Mm -hmm. Grey Wolf. He has to look yeah, in his rear view. He's off the road. Chaco is just right there, right there. He oh. is trying. He is going. He's coming. All right. It looks like yeah, the horses are a little bit tired, but it's okay. To go in, and they are almost reaching. Where is checkpoint two? Oh, checkpoint two is there. Now they have to maneuver through all these settlements, and hopefully nobody gets stuck. The dragon is just looking at them. Probably smiling, and she's like, "What are these people doing? Don't they have anything <laughs> better to do?" No, we don't. Dragon, shut up. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Imagine, other dragons are judging. Other dragon judging us. Listen, dragons, we've killed you, we've tamed you. You're part of our crew now. You must watch us ride our horses and rhinos around for pleasure. It's just how it is. It's just society nowadays. But it is close. You can see uh, Chacho is trying to close the gap. He's coming down now around the, uh, the pit of the dragon so he is closing down the gap so i wonder if his artifact usage is honestly on point and you can just see him using it there he's cutting around the corner now and this might be where he's going to start catching up to his opponent because maybe his opponent doesn't have that mighty tailwind on it doesn't look like it both of them now within frame of each other so gray wolf there chacho on the left first and second this is the battle of the first who can get pole position here can gray wolf keep using basically those white tires for the longevity or is chacho on the red tires the slips trying to basically use the speed demon again this, obviously gray wolf here close it in close it in and he might even remember use some of these tiles it depends if it's on i think his route or path in it's obviously down to his uh, decision there but it's very interesting to see we've got now chacho coming in he's very close having to go up he's got the inside line here gray wolf obviously taking a little bit of an extra couple of meters which is honestly allow chacho there to close the gap and chacho is turning it on he can smell the victory basically in his sector can he basically take first place from the basically king louis can he actually redeem war it from here chacho can put on the drs section here he's gonna go around this corner and he has a decision is he gonna go continuing up or is he gonna take the right path and it looks like he's taking down the right path he's gonna Take the inside line, activates his DRS, the artifact is online, and just like that, the Nitro boost, Fast and Furious, Chacho using the inside line, sent it over way, and oh my lord, what a move by Chacho, an absolute monster, clearly taking up that speed and guess what he's closed the gap guys he closed the gap from over at least 30 to 40 meters and, and he's got it he's got it back and now he's trying to give his team a lead can he actually develop it because the thing is you gotta remember 
This is a relay race and even though he is ahead right now, he has to pass the baton on to one more player of his team. And if he doesn't do it in a nice fashion, guess what? He could potentially lose it for his team because you've got to think he doesn't know how fast his team member is compared to hit their opponents. So it is a very, very close thing. Chacho, honestly, doing bits here for War Daddy and their team in Team 2. And they're leading. They're leading the race. So let's pass it back over to Queen as they're coming up to the final checkpoint. Ring through the resources. Coming round from the left of the plateau and soon they'll be up the ramp. Okay, Chaco's teammates, get ready. He's coming up real soon. Maneuver past Catzilla, Chaco, or you're gonna get stuck. Oh, he's gonna get stuck. No, fuck. <laughs> but somehow he. That's down to Chacho to move. Chaco's he understood. You can go. Let's go, RB. And now Wolf Hunt is. Oh, they're not going RB's odd on the way. That was nice. Almost close. Grey Wolf goes in. And. Oh, and Rocky's it's going. Way. Reyna is still right there. She's waiting. She's trying to make up the time. Where is P Can somebody shame send me PK's court, please? I kind of lost it. And that's it. And we're just waiting for Reyna. Reyna in third position. And there's no, you know, she's just waiting. She's waiting for the pass. Maybe, you know, she is a speed freak. You saw how far she is in the last race against Chacho, holding basically first and second for quite a long time in the early phases and then doing the battle for second and third towards the end. So she can definitely put up the speed. She can definitely catch up to RB potentially. It's just down to how fast her teammate is. So let's pass it back over. Let's see if these guys can actually catch up and finish out the race. But at the moment, you've got to remember Team War Daddy with RB and the Master Chacho is leading the race right now. They are winning with King Louis and um, the others all in rank two. So let's pass it back over to the Queen. He's close. She will, she will try to make things up. She will try. All right. Uh, let's. So what do you think, Queen? What do you think? Move back to our first two participants. Okay. We are trying to get through here. Oh, we're going around two different Which... sections again. And this is going to be the interesting bit because honestly, I actually think this is a really clever meta and hopefully they adopt this in the rules where roads are part of the racetrack because you can see there Rocky actually took a longer path and by taking a longer path, he actually opted in getting the roads. Compared to, you can see RB here took the shorter path, a very short path through all of the forestry and didn't have to use the roads. But obviously by not using the roads, Rocky could make up that distance because of it. So it's a very interesting dynamic. I think this is a very cool thing that should be actually a rule in the game. And I think when you're doing this type of races, obviously you can justify not having roads or having roads. But I think it's a really cool aspect. And you can see there Rocky trying to catch up here to RB. And we're going to pass it back over to Queen to finish it off for the final parts of this race. This is yeah, the finish line. But the roads are impossible. All right. The road is, is strange. Coming. It's impossible that I'm not to the road. Yeah, so I think next time we're going to be working a little bit better on it, you know? Reyna is coming, you guys. Give her some support. Whoop, She's whoop. trying to keep the distance now. Trying Let's to go. Catch it up. Let's go, Reyna. Let's go. But here we go, the battle for first now, and it's close. And this is what they were talking about. Kind of, they overtake Rocky. Rocky, can he actually push through here? And he needs to maintain it, remember, because the, there is a final track. He uses his artifacts from the inside lane, and oh my god, he actually <laughs> overtakes him with such a nice maneuver. Using the inside line, he's going straight down. But he needs to make sure he keeps on track here and keeps this victory and takes it through and actually allows King Louis 
to retain that first place. But RB needs to think of something. Can he maybe use hasty departure? Can he maybe use his artifact again to close down the distance and gain redemption for Chacho? Because honestly, Chacho did so much work here for this team and tried to put a performance on to see if that War Daddy's PTSD. He doesn't want War Daddy to lose two in a row against King Louis, especially in this team. And there we go. Oh, Rocky. No, Rocky taking the wrong route. And actually, it's going into Arby's favour. And this is what we are talking about, guys. Drama unfolding within the race. And if you're wondering what's going on, as you can imagine, one's gone down, one went left. And you can imagine... The one went left, went the wrong way. That is correct. And this is down to the racer. I'm just saying it's a racer mentality. Can they remember the plan? Can they remember the track? This is something even Formula One uh, drivers do on the daily where they can even drive a Formula One track blindfolded, right? So memory is very key here. So let's pass it over to Queen to finish off the final part of the race with Catzilla on the relay. Strategy ...because it will be a little confusing. And this is the final leg. They are on the plateau. Mm -hmm. Let's see who is the winner for this round. Ooh. Grimes is there at the finishing line with her flying cavalry, one of the faster ones that we mm -hmm. have so far. Uh, let's see. RB, it's looking like RB is going to win. Can RB maintain this speed? He doesn't need to do anything strange. So there was a little turn of it's events. It's going to be close. Yep, yeah, a little turn of events. Uh, like guys, Rocky's going but there we go. RB, I think he's at the finish line. I think he's there. He's at the final sprint. Mm -hmm. It's the oh, final oh, up, and guess what? <coughs> DRS has to be activated, and he's used it. Rocky Scott. Let's go. And they are reaching the finishing line in a few minutes. There we go. The finish line. I'll be. I'll be finally doing it. Wow. <laughs> Absolute nutty. What a drama filled race. Yeah. And that was it. That is all the races of today. So I hope you've enjoyed them. And we're going to pass it over to Queen quickly and let her do some outro work with myself. But for those who are here, thank you very much. This is the first inaugural event that we have, and I think we definitely will make it so much better in the next weeks to come. Next week, we are probably going to do a tank event, and we personally would like to thank um, our guest, who's here, Mr. Sneaky. Mr. Sneaky, do you want to say something or anything? Yeah, no, honestly, thank you for having me. I've been in the background, we've been working together, recording this, as well as giving each other advice on what they could do to obviously improve maybe the races in the future when they do this style of thing. Thank you for having me, guys. Honestly, it's been a blast. And honestly, I'm going to pass it back over to you, Queen. I hope you guys have um, wish you guys luck, basically, on the next event. And hopefully, in next time, maybe I can join in in the live commentary. All right, Mr. Sneaky is one of the YouTubers who's going to work with us for uh, more of our events. And then uh, Catzilla is here as well. And we all just want to thank all you participants for playing, for taking the time, and for those people who are online and in the live chat. Thank you once again to also our resident DJ, Renz, who is, you know, who come up with the list of um, exciting songs for us for this race. Um... This is me, this is Queen, and thank you for being here. We'll see you guys in our next event. Wait for the winners list on Discord. Just a reminder again, Good guys. Good night, please, guys. Please.